Here we are near historic Harrodsburg, Kentucky, a magnificent mansion on 25 acres, blackboard fence, all the things that you want in a Kentucky bluegrass horse farm. We're gonna to tour the whole house. I'm gonna show you everything, it's cherry, and there's a couple secrets. So I'm gonna share those with you, but you gotta wait till the end. Come on, let's go check it out. We are going to show you a little bit about the town. Now, of course, where it is, it's out in the county, so there's no town. But you're going to shop in Harrodsburg, and you're going to go to the little ice cream shop in Bergen, the Bergen Dairy Barn. That's a real cool place. It's good for lunch. Oh, boy, they got Main Street shut off, so I guess we're not going to see it because they're having another festival. Oh, they're closed. Oh, wow, they get the street all Look at that big stage and everything. We need to come here at night sometime. When you work someplace during the day, you're just like, you know, thank you for coming. We'll go out this way. Well, we can show you this. This is the historic part of town. Look at some of these old mansions. I mean, they're really fancy, really beautiful. Copper gutters and slate roofs and brick and stone. Some are fancier and some are not. But this is a really good area. I think this is Beaumont. Yeah, Beaumont Avenue in Harrodsburg. It's the oldest town, I guess, west of the Alleghenies, right? So James Harrod and Daniel Boone were big buddies and they befriended the Indians and then stole the land from them. And you know the rest of the story. If you're any kind of student in uh, history in elementary school, you know how it works. But anyway, I say it kind of funny, but it's not kind of funny. There's a place there. Take a look at that one. That's a dandy. Yeah, so the Daniel Boone started his town first, Boonesboro. And then James Harrod started this town. But the Indians took Boonesboro back over. So I don't know how they did it, but they did. And he got it back, obviously, because we still have it here. And then, but so that made James Harrod's town the oldest town west of the Alleghenies. Danville likes to boast city of firsts, and that's just 10 miles away. So there's this historic triangle. Remember, we talk about Perryville, that's the Civil War, and Harrodsburg is the, you know, oldest town, blah, 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 blah. and then Danville. So it's all this is really kind of where Kentucky started, which used to be part of Virginia. So that's kind of interesting way back when there was just like, whatever, the 13 colonies. This is some of the best land in the county. Maury Silt Loam. Here's our little town of Bergen. Home of a Dollar General. Imagine that and the Bergen Dairy Barn. Best ice cream and hamburgers and fries you ever had. Really close to the lake here too. The Dairy Barn's right on the right here by the stop sign.
so far off the road you can't really see it. This might be it right here. This is it for sure. Blackboard fence on one side, blackboard fence on the other. Well, this is new. They haven't painted it yet. They will. Yeah, this is it right here. Oh. Imagine coming home every night to this. 1,800 feet of blacktop, I think is what he said. Little ponds over there. Nice pond. This house is all new. They Basically, the, the, the wall studs and the floor joists are original, like from 1980s, 1990s, something like that. And then everything else is new. It's all brand new brick, all new sheetrock, new walls inside, everything. Do you remember the place that was, I don't know, I think it said 3200 a month or something like that? Well, this is the same family. They do work that is magnificent. Nothing is cut corners. Is, everything is top of the line. We sold them this house, which you should have seen it. They did everything. All that was left was like the studs, the walls and the floors. <laughs> Everything's been redone. They even re-bricked the whole thing. Yeah, from the top to the bottom. It was all cedar up here, brand new doors, windows, everything. More than a half a million dollars worth of renovation. So I'm gonna show you the whole thing. I'm not gonna be the dorky real estate salesman. I'm gonna just show you inside and tell you what I think about it. You give me your comments. If you like this video and comment below, good karma is coming your way. I was used to dealing with those, like, you know, those motor coaches, you, you know, that like the newels are like two million bucks. He's, he's dealing with those. He's buying them, selling them, whatever. He stores them, he does concierge service, which means you fly into Lexington, they pick you up, drop you off at your motor coach. It's all gassed up and ready to go. You take off, you come back, leave it dirty. They take care of everything. They wash it, they winterize it, and, and then take you back to the airport. And then when you need it again, you just call and say, hey, I'm coming on Thursday, and they'll come out. So he does all that stuff. So he's a pretty picky guy. Everything's done right here. <laughs> all right i don't know what kind of door this is all the other doors and windows are anderson 400 series the 400 series i didn't say the 100 the 200 or the 300. you come in and of course the air is amazing and how do you heat 4100 square feet you put spray foam on the walls and encapsulate the crawl spaces and things like that the attic the electric bill, the average electric bill here, I'm told, is about $175 a month all year round. So you really can't beat that. At our house, we, ours is like 400 <laughs> So 175 is amazing. You walk in and it smells like um, a high-end hotel. So I asked the homeowner, I said, why does it smell so nice in here? She says, we have a thing on the furnace and you program it. And three times a week, it just puts a little spritz out. Oh my God, are you serious? Take a look at this ceiling. Now, I guess this is barrel. Uh, in Mexico, they would call this like bóveda, but I think bóveda is more, it's, I don't know. Maybe it's all goes up, I don't know. But anyway, you've got the herringbone brick on the ceiling. Pretty swanky. I don't even know where to start. There's really too much stuff in this house to even talk about. I did the stills, I was here for like an hour and a half. Usually I'm done in 20 minutes. If you look at the floor, I don't know, can you zoom in on that floor or that it's fancy? It's like hand scraped and there's grain in it and everything. It's engineered wood, it's real wood. So the engineered is finished in the factory and this has got a three mil wear on the top of it and it's very expensive. I won't be so crass to talk to you about price on how much that is, but it's expensive. They like it so much, they're gonna put it in their next house. I would think about putting this in my house, love it. Fireplace, this is all new. Kitchen's all new. Just show over here. I don't want you to see the kitchen yet. It's a through fireplace, a two-sided fireplace. And then this is, I think, a hemlock beam. So it's this real thick, real wood all the way through. All this glass. I guess this is, yeah, this is the living room. It's almost like a sunroom. It's just so beautiful. But of course, if you have a view like that, you'd want to have a big view of it too. The bar's right here. I won't show you outside. That's one of the secrets I've got for you. I guess, I don't know. Oh, this is uh, like RO water. And then this is regular water. All the appliances are Monogram or Cafe GE, which is great. Thank you for your support. 
all made here in Kentucky. So you can get service, you can get parts, wine fridge. Doug, you're so rich. Look at this house and you drink cheap wine. There's an old commercial from Aldo Cella. And most of my subs will understand it. They say, Aldo, why are you so rich and you drink such cheap wine? He says, how do you think I got so rich? <laughs> it's good. That's funny. This is beautiful. And to feel it, it's all like bumpledy stuff. It look, you know, it's very beautiful. Glass tile. This is quartz. You know, I'm always saying, what's the difference between granite and quartz? Well, I learned, right? Quartz is man-made. Granite is real rock. And uh, quartz is man-made. And it's, I don't know how they make it and all this other stuff. Quartz is kind of better, should I say? Because it's heat resistant, uh, stain resistant, whereas granite, if you spill red wine on granite, you have to clean it up or it stains it forever. Oh my gosh. So I'm looking around and they've got a lot of countertop here. They even had a countertop designer. So I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that's in the other room and I'm gonna make you guess what it is. Well, I'll tell you what it is, but it's not quartz and it's not granite. You might take it for granite, Okay, come on, over here. This is also quartz, but with a leather finish. Feel this, can you see it? You know, there's honed granite and this is leather finished granite. I wouldn't put anything on here. I just want to look at it all day, touch it. I didn't say lick it. <laughs> is, that, is that terrifying? That startled even me. And I was prepared for something weird. Oh, look at this, freezer. Now you can tell, now here, all right, I gotta ask you a question. So you got vodka here and you've got uh, these things for your knee, or I think it's for your knee. So do you drink the vodka and you fall and you hurt your knee and then you have to like just one stop shot? Is, I mean, I don't understand what's, what's going on here. But anyway, this is all freezer, which I just think this is adorbs. And I'll have to say, I'm kind of a cook, uh, I'm kind of a kitchen guy. Look at this. I was like, yeah, baby. Oh, door to outside. Don't look out there. Not allowed to. Coat rack. Hold on. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Oh, please. Ah! A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you? Won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> I've got binoculars, baby. Oh, anyway. So anyway. <laughs> I you try just, to. You I, just want your channel to be banned. No, I, I want the uh, I want the wholesomeness of uh, Mr. Rogers, but the reality of today in 2024. Garage. It's got Bluetooth, so you don't have to worry about a remote. Everything was done right. I mean, even the steps down here. Lifetime. Listen to the auto door. Nice. And it tells you it's 79 degrees out there. We'll go down there. Hot. Hotter than blazes. Everything's real wide here. All that stuff makes a difference. It really does. Love this fridge. Love this fridge because it's all fridge. They've got a freezer over there. And then they got the garage. So you can put freezers wherever you want. And I'm thinking I should get one of these. This is monogram. I don't know how big it is, but it's regular 36, uh, maybe 32 inch, 32 or 36 inch and seven feet, maybe that's fit in a regular hole. This is amazing. So this is an induction dealio, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity, pot filler. Put that away. This fellow goes on. Oh, there you go. And then there's cabinets and galore. I just said to somebody the other day, why on earth do we not have trash compactors anymore? KitchenAid used to be the real deal. And I would see them all the time. I think they're like 15 inches. And I was in the appliance business a hundred years ago when dinosaurs roamed the earth. And I would see them all the time, fix them every once in a while, but not many people had them. Like, well, I don't want to say rich people, but like doctors and attorneys and things like that, they would have them. Well, I haven't seen one in 30 or 40 years. Oops. How do you do this? Here, hold on. There you go. Okay, now I'm doing it right. 
and there you go. So what it is, is on a screw, and it goes, compacts it, and you only have to take the garbage out once a week instead of every day. Bosch dishwasher, just like ours. Oh yeah, fancy, fancy devil. And then check this out. You ready for this? Wing, wing. Got chicken on your hands? There we go, gotta go up here. Serious. Oh, and it's got a blue thing. And then, this is kind of like a, a wine glass bidet. Wild turkey, when only the best will do. Do, 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 do. Look at that. There's sea monkeys in that glass. I'm so glad I had a wine glass bidet. I've seen everything. I have not ever seen one of those yet. <laughs> have you? Yeah, you saw one of these before? You mean 10 minutes ago? You're full of prunes. <laughs> you have? You fancy. <laughs> Check this out. These are real 24 karat gold. No, 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 I'm not kidding. But they're really cool. And they, they glitter, they shine. Very nice. It's all in the details, man. And they got the details. Double oven here, cafe. See the cafe signature thing? So this is a microwave and a microwave convection. See the convection, all stainless steel here. So it bakes, it broils, it convex. That's what convection ovens do. And then downstairs here is a convection oven as well. And then on and on. I mean, we can look at in their cabinets all the time. Oh, wait a minute. Let me see what's in the fridge that we can point out and try to figure out well, they obviously have kids, nine dozen eggs, or whatever. I'm not gonna ask any questions. There's no beer here, but there is a wine fridge with wine, so I'm good. Hello, fresh. Just comes, it's easy. You, you go to the store once a month. No, Hello Fresh is not sponsoring this, but you have my address, if you just call me 859. What do you think about this? Spice rack, cabinet, Got a secret, I'll show you later. All right, we went in there. Oh, we didn't come in here. Come here. If you love this place, just pick up the phone and give Ken a call because he's gonna know all about it. I don't know much about it. Did we go and look at the wine rack? Oh, we, and the ice machine? Oh my God, where was I? Well, call Ken, his number is right here, and have him come and show you this place. Sincerely, it's uh, 38 minutes to LEX airport. Just another 45 or an hour to an hour probably to CVG, which is Cincinnati, which is really in Kentucky. CVG, Covington, Kentucky, but whatever. We give Cincinnati that. We don't care. We're just glad to get to the airport. Half bath here. But you could fly in, come look at this place, make an offer, go home. And if you are in love with the furniture like I am, have Ken negotiate something. How sculptural is this? Now, look at the view there. And of course, we can get you, hold on. Oop. I can't close it, I'll show you why. This is one secret I'm gonna give you right now. You've waited long enough. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, thumbprint. How freaky you gotta be to have a damn thumbprint in order to get in your bedroom? Come on now. Seriously. Serious. Serious. So we're gonna give you a list of all the, the, you know, anyone who's involved, the designer, the architect, all that sort of stuff. So if you need paint colors or help on where to get a chandelier like that or whatever the story is, we're gonna help you with that. This is all fancy. Now, I don't know how you turn these down other than turn them off. There's different things. She said you can have them just for a nightlight, like maybe just dimming, I don't know. So huge master bedroom. This was an addition that was just done. Like, what didn't she say they were done? September, last September, last November? Something like that, like 10 months ago. And another opportunity arose, so they're going to do the next one. Literally, that's 
uh, what do you call it, a glutton for punishment. <laughs> Dealing with contractors is difficult. This is already done for you. If you're thinking you're gonna pull your hair out with a full renovation, just move here, it's already done. Okay, one thing, wow, that was really loud. <laughs> so come get a load of this. Look at the veining in here. This is natural stone. Isn't it beautiful? This is Oh, we're gonna let him guess. All right, we'll take so it out I'll then. Let you guess. Okay, I'll let you guess. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. You gotta guess, you gotta put it in the comments below. You wanna get in the shower with me? How about you, Amy? They they said no. No, you don't want to get in the shower either? Always have Italian music on when I shower. But you've got um, beautiful nichos here. Pebble. I've been on a lot of pebble surfaces with, with your feet. If it's not done properly like this one is, it's hard on your feet. These, this one's not hard. Not hard at all. And uh, these nichos are so important because where do you put your shampoo? Up here? Then you, got, then you look like my house. That's no good. With the view out here. The internet's great out here. Uh, fiber's coming, but in the meantime, they have Starlink. Starlink works great. In fact, we've got a commercial property, I don't know, 15 miles from here. And that's what we have there. There'll be two, 300 people on it at any given time. And it works. Toto toilets. This would be good for your mother. That way she can do here and do her hair and spray and all that stuff. It's just trapped in this one area. Okay. Uh, um, I, whatever. I don't judge. A lot of built-ins. This stuff is expensive. I mean, really. I'm telling you. I'm not just telling that the audience. I'm telling you. This stuff is like high as a cat's back. There's your linens. Urgh. And whatnot. I'm not going to open. I had two good ones. I'm not going to try a third one because my luck, it might go bad. Electrolux. Schwanky. Do you love it? I love it. Oh, here we go. Chinka chonka, tinka tinka do. We ready? Please. Oh, oh my. Splendid. Is it a speaker? There's music. Connected. Light wind. Seriously. <laughs> oh my God, that's enough. I don't have that in my house. Now I feel like I got laid off. All right, let's go. Next, upstairs. We got to go upstairs. Then we got to go downstairs. Oh, okay. Now, cool up here. There's three, four bedrooms. I don't know. Hunter just looked up new federal law for a bedroom. What constitutes a bedroom? It used to be if it has a closet. No. 70 square feet, which is way bigger than this. I mean, this is way bigger than that. 70 square feet, two forms of egress, a window and a door, and at least seven foot height in maybe in just the 70 square feet. I don't know. Uh, you know, because some roofs are like this. But anyway, so that constitutes a legal bedroom. Whatever. This has got a closet. This one's got a closet. It's got two forms of egress. So I don't know how many are up here. There's one, two, three, four up here. Three up here. I don't know. We'll take a look at this one. Full bath up here. Quartz. Oh. Come on now. There's got one of these. So if you're a girl with really long hair, or a guy with really long hair, or a shaver, you'll need one of those. There's stuff in this house that you didn't even know you needed before until right now. You're welcome. 
linen. That's a deep one. Well, we got three forms of egress here. Walk-in closet. This is a bedroom. I don't think Ken's calling it a bedroom. So it's like four bedrooms, but it's really five. Y'all call it whatever you want to call it. Plenty of room. Home office, whatever. Laundry up here. Certainly enough room for whatever. Could you, you couldn't do music up in this room, could you? What could you use for this room? Oh, maybe an art, art studio. You could do a little painting up here. This is the schwanky end of right here, man. You've got a boomerang kid. Boomerang kid, perfect. Got their own sitting area. We got a couple of secrets to show you. Oh, I'm sure you want to see this. Closetta. That's closet in Italian. Let's run down to the basement and how do we get to the basement? It's got to be around here somewhere. Ready? And you shut the lights off down there. What's wrong with you? Hold on. Come on down. How are we doing? Good? All right. You got a sump pump here for a French drain sump pump. This is where the septic is. What else do I know about the house? Brand new HVAC carrier, really good stuff. I-beam here for support. You know that ain't going anywhere. And then the crawls are even encapsulated. There is no way you're gonna be able to see in there. But it's, it's plastic down and foamed up and whatever. But look, can you see up in there? It's all brand new, Advantech, uh, lifetime warranty. Here's the power. Everything's clean, neat. Plenty of room left over if you need to put more stuff in. The Squirty Home line, I believe. Yep, Squirty Home. All right. Now, I'm going to put the bird up and see if we can get some amazing footage. If not, we come back tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh, great. I bet that's very complimentary. I should make a gin and tonic while I'm doing an outro. If this is right for you, call Ken. We'll get you in here, get a written offer made, and get you this property. It's a lifestyle property. It's, oh, I forgot the, the secret. If it's not right for you, still get on a home finder. I'll make it fast. We're going to send you a sneak peek, new properties before they hit the market. And we're going to find exactly what you're looking for. I don't care whether it's $100,000, $200,000. We gave everybody the same treatment, the same service, and the same passion about real estate since 1981. Come here. Got two secrets. The one secret is quartzite the bathroom and the makeup room and the laundry room quartzite real stone it's more heat resistant uh, blah, blah, blah. but anyway it's real stone and what they did was they cut a big piece and they cut the little backsplash and then just turned it up so it almost looks like a waterfall like the kitchen countertops remember they had a, a countertop designer so <laughs> you get the idea Secret number two, we got a fire pit, gas, tanks out back, and a 50 or $75,000 patio. <laughs> so <laughs> I told you the guy is like real, are you allowed to say anal retentive? Is that like, probably not. He, he's used to working with nice things. He's in the motor coach business. So all that stuff is usually pretty fancy and people who are very picky he wants everything done right, which is why it looks the way it does. He's picky, so he pours four inches of concrete for the patio. Then he puts like class I sand down. Then he puts down the pavers. Now, and these are good pavers. And uh, I said, you know, I probably would have given up at the concrete. He said, yeah, most people would, but not me. You're benefiting by all his hard work. The counter lady, the counter design person designed this as well. So this is, ow, hot, it's very hot. <laughs> so this is real stone, but I don't know what it is, whether it's granite or quartz, quartzite. There's power here. 
His other place, if you saw his other place, his other place looked just like this. All fancy stuff. He's got this guy in here. And he's, I think he's three quarters Italian. I'm an Italian grandmother in a previous life. I think he is too. And they've got grandkids. There's nothing more fun than a pizza oven, nothing more social than a pizza oven. The most social thing you can do with your clothes on, especially with family. This place needs, <laughs> this patio needs more furniture. <laughs> you should call my buddy, Patrick O'Malley. He's very good, he's familiar with patio furniture. <laughs> I, Irish jokes, what, what, come on, I'm, I'm part Irish. It's a shed. It's two stories. It's a shed. There's nothing in it. What'd she say was in it? One thing. What was it? Play set kitchen table. Yeah. The, the van is parked up there. I don't have the keys for the shed. I don't have a key for there. And I can't fit in, if you know what I'm saying. So it's a shed. It's great. You know what this place needs? It needs a pool. So this property is 25 acres. And it goes from that road to that road. Yonder. Yonder way. So I don't know how far it is, but I'll put a plat right here and show you the approximate property line. The neighbors will always tell you where the property line is, and it's usually where the trees are, and you can kind of see where it goes. We'll go down there, we'll get some pictures of the pond, and what was I gonna say about the, oh. So he's got, and she's got, the white flags. So this is where the doggies can go. And then you've got the rest of it, which, the farmer mows, if that makes sense, right? So you're just mowing around the house, maybe, I don't know, two or three acres, something like that. And then the whole rest of it, uh, and, and of course alongside the driveway, one down and one back on each side. Then all the rest of the land is mowed by the farmer across the way. So they will give you the phone number, just go to Ken and he'll get all that for you. And they would love to continue to cut the hay and Keep the fence up. Let them cut it. Now, if you have horses or llamas or whatever the hell, you know, howling monkeys, put a fence up and you can take care of it yourself. But if you don't want to take care of all that stuff and you don't want to have a $50,000 tractor with a $20,000 mower and a bush hog and all that stuff, you don't have to do it. Let them do it. They love the hay. It looks beautiful. They do it. You can still recreate on it. You can do hiking. You can ride your wheelers. The kids can play on it but you don't have to maintain it. All new siding, everything. This hardy board up there, all the brick was done by the guy who built the stone fireplace, who built the patio. He knows what he's doing, obviously. He's a local guy, he's in Nicholasville. Dimensional shingles, what else did I say? Stainless steel cap. He did everything right. He's used to dealing with those, like, you know, those motor coaches, you, you know, that like the Newells are like two million bucks. So he's a pretty picky guy. Everything's done right here. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I love you guys, I really do. Can you see both hands all the way to my pinkies? There you go. like the bow from the blue you came right in loved me to the bones couldn't believe that you were mine never felt this kind of love before and you had my heart in your hands soft like a summer and then it was a deadly dance and i knew if i stayed i 
you give me your comments. If you comment below, you get extra. You get comment. If you like, if you like this. If you like this video, it's. I don't know. Maybe it all goes up. I don't know. Splendid. Is it a speaker? That's music. Whatever. This has got a closet. <laughs> oh, great. I bet that's very complimentary. Two secrets. Oh, it's so hot out to you. I want to go back inside. Listen, listen to the dish. Listen to the dishwasher. <laughs> Here we are. This big. I don't know how to start it. Uh, if you like this video, like, subscribe, watch another video. Ciao. Starting to doubt we will find a way back to each other when you're on the other side of the world. I'm here and I'm waiting, but I know I can't say that we didn't end it for good reason. Still, I'm hoping we'll be meeting soon. Everybody needs some time to figure themselves out, but I want. Selfie.